Good afternoon, it's Mark it's Adil Fazal, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets for uh, obviously uh, today is Columbus uh, holiday for uh, Tuesday's trading, the 10th of October, certainly giving you uh, a preview. Uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app on the Google app. Uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of the uh, stats for um, Friday's close, we certainly closed on the back of a weaker NFP reading. S&P certainly closing negative. Uh, Nasdaq as well. Global, the Dow certainly closing lackluster uh, too. Although the uh, the futures certainly are pushing higher, uh, even with the uh, with the weaker Chinese data. So again, certainly take that into consideration too. So looking at weaker Chinese data, okay, we have concerns with regards to North Korea. We have concerns with regards to Turkey. Concerns regarding Iran, and Mr. Corker certainly has put a cork in uh, uh, Mr. Trump at present with regards to his negative comments and calling it a, uh, a potential adult daycare centre. So, again, that certainly is risk negative. He is quite an instrumental figure uh, with regards to legislation going forward, and again, that certainly is risk negative. Okay, so uh, weaker data, certainly casting doubts on Mr. Trump's so called uh, job growth, okay. It'd be interesting to see uh, what, how the market unfolds there. And the dollar rally certainly seems to be linked to the equity market rally. So a pause in dollar obviously causes a pause in the uh, US equity market. So let's start by looking at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones, it's very hard to argue against this. Uh, daily chart remains extremely, extremely bullish. So just keep an eye on that. Again, it's very hard to make an argument on the downside, especially in the daily, weekly, larger time frames, even the 10 minute chart to a large extent. Okay, let's just see, uh, really, from our perspective, let's see if gap fill can hold, 22.73, let's see how the market unfolds there. Okay, uh, if we break above 22.74, obviously the bulls are back in the uh, back in control again, so just bear that in mind. Okay, uh, having said that, we have had quite a stellar run now. There are multiple unfilled gaps below as well, that certainly need to be closed in the Dow. Uh, let's just take that into consideration too, okay? In terms of looking at the, uh, the pay, Let's look at the Dow Transport, so let's see exactly where they are. Now, again, this is a, a pattern that certainly worries me. Uh, daily chart at the moment is certainly indicating exhaustion, okay? Certainly isn't, uh, obviously, uh, overtly bullish like the uh, Dow. Okay, 60-minute chart certainly has a H&S formation in play as well. So, again, watch out for weakness there. In terms of the NASDAQ, let's move on to the NASDAQ. Let's go to the NASDAQ itself. The NASDAQ weekly chart certainly is screaming bullish, certainly is pushing higher. Daily chart at the moment as well. As you can see, pushing higher, so it's very hard to argue against it on a a daily or weekly chart. But on the 60-minute chart, there is some news with regards to iPhone battery concerns. Again, that certainly is going to be risk negative for the Nasdaq. The Apple sort of chart certainly will look to weigh the uh, index down. Let's see if we can look to potentially close the gap below at uh, uh, 6,000. Okay, that'll be interesting to see. Also, you have a gap at six. Uh, 0.65 given the fact that we are now gapping higher to 6.075 so again watch out for that gap below and then again subsequently closing that gap at 6,000 in the back of Apple okay now let's look at his peers looking at biotechs at the moment let's look at the weekly chart certainly is coming into resistance hence the reason why I'm taking the bias short and then that's that daily chart as well putting in a doji certainly looking very top heavy moving on to the semiconductors now let's just cross reference that with semicons Looking at the weekly chart at the moment, again, it's very hard to argue against semiconductors. Daily chart as well, certainly pushing higher, but will that continue, especially with regards to the news regarding Apple? So semiconductors certainly will expect it to get hurt. So again, looking for weakness in Apple going into uh, Tuesday's trading session. Okay, and let's move on to the next one. Our next potential index, let's look on the S&P 500 now. S&P 500, again, like I said, failed to make a uh, higher high. We have gap fill at uh, 2552, and then we have unfill gap below at 2537. So my expectations really are for that gap to close below at 2538. Certainly looking for that gap to close, so watch out below. 60-minute chart as well. Uh, we did get some good volume, or not substantial volume, but certainly volume on the sell side, certainly a negative day. Uh, on the, uh, the Friday again looking for weakness. We are now looking to break out this 60-minute bullish channel Certainly looking to move lower now. We cross-reference that as always with the, um, the actual Russell itself Let me just bring up the Russell. Let's see exactly where the Russell is talking about Russell Let's look at the VIX as well uh, The VIX at the moment you have a double bottom So again, if you can hold that double bottom you are looking for a reversal on the S&P 500 Okay, let's look at the Russell as well whilst we're here Okay, we 
only on the Russell 3000, not the Russell 2000 at the moment. There we go, sorry, Russell 2000. Again, doji candles indicating exhaustion on the daily chart on 60 minute charts fail to make high highs. So whenever a chart fails to make high highs, you are looking for a risk aversion. So an indicated exhaustion and a potential reversal. So again, look for uh, lower lows and lower highs now. Uh, coming into play on the Russell 2000. It'll be interesting to see how the market unfolds there, especially with the uh, the VIX into uh, uh, certainly holding support as well. Okay, so again, looked at Russell, looked at Nasdaq, looked at the Dow, all indicating well, not all, but definitely indicating the potential weakness ahead, and certainly looking for a potential downturn now going into this week. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of U.S. markets. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Goodbye.